Here, kid, you take this. You have to find the way now. Uh, uh, okay. Where to? <laughs> Wherever you want to go. Wherever you can imagine. It's your journey now. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Getting used to the room already, huh? It's an awful lot of stuff for a little Sibs weekend. You sure you got everything? Yeah, well, you always take a lot of stuff when you go to school. <laughs> I don't take that much stuff. Anyway. What was it like when you first went? What, to college? Well, it was cool. <laughs> and a little scary. I was charmed, for sure, when I first got to campus. I loved campus when I first came to visit. The lake hit me in the face pretty hard. It's such a beautiful place. I love it, right on Lake Michigan. Moving in was just as exciting as getting to campus for the first time. The first time I arrived at Carthage was in the summer of 2009. It was really hot though, so it was quite the pain moving everything into Den Hart. There were these huge soccer player guys and volleyball guys. Initially it was hectic. I mean, there's so many people moving around, cars are parked everywhere. Who helped me move my probably like 50 pound fridge into campus. Trying to find a parking spot was interesting. I totally overpacked when I moved onto campus. I probably underpacked because I'm from Kenosha. And give a shout out to Buck and Bob who have the most amazing room setups I've ever seen. Coming to college, I thought it was the start of a new journey. I don't think I could imagine what the next four years were going to be like exactly, but I knew that they were going to be good. I wasn't prepared for how much free time you have, then again that free time gets <laughs> taken up by everything else you get involved in. Well, I was excited. <laughs> I was feeling very ready to begin. I pretty much lived up to everything I wanted to do. <laughs> anyway, you got big parts of your journey ahead of you before you got to worry about that. What you got there? I don't know. It's yours. Oh, my journal. Never really kept up on it. Except for when I went on that J-term trip. What's a J-term? Remember when I went to the jungles of Central America? It's not really like that. It's cool, really cool, but not so native-y. J-Term to me is one of the most important things uh, about Carthage. Guatemala was the most amazing experience of my life. I went to Nicaragua for the medical mission trip. I went to Israel with Dan Showalter. I took a J-term trip to India. Hiking up volcanoes, jumping off of waterfalls, we visited the ancient Maya city, Tikal, which is one of the most amazing places, just the extravagance of it and these huge buildings. How did they create them? I learned so much being able to experience those different religions. Uh, we did Hinduism, uh, Sufi Muslim and Sikhism. I had no idea what the Sikh religion was before I even went. To me, just the freedom of being out of Carthage but still learning, still having that classroom on, on another country's ground, uh, somewhere that's not here, and the idea of that outside the classroom learning and education, it's so important. Are you sure you want me to come? I mean, wouldn't you rather hang out with your friends? No, this weekend's about you. Besides, you're my sidekick. You're Sancho Panza. Um, Robin to my Batman? I'm Sherlock Holmes and you're... What? <laughs> yeah. I have a really close group of friends that I met. Cara, Amy Oostrich, Tara, Jen. It's Chris Barner. Evan Jones. Peter Haroldson. Matt Wheel and John Seski. Brett Hogan, Matt Pop. Ian Sokolowski, Tom Stowe. Tommy Novak, who's one of my best friends. One of my most memorable moments from 
college. Freshman year, when they taped up an individual to a wall. Most of the things is just little things that I'm gonna remember. We end up going to the cafe a lot for dinner and just hanging out up there. I would say to all of my sidekicks, just you know, keep in touch and make sure that we stay friends like we've always promised each other. Never just take information straight as it comes, always look into it a little bit more. Don't give up and always remember that you can do whatever you think you can. Just stay focused and positive on what you want to do in life. Be yourself. Keep going no matter what happens. Just remember what we had here. Don't be afraid to you know, live out of the box and just say yes to everything. Do your best not to change. I would tell her just to take her time. Um, find what you're looking for, because um, it's definitely out there. I think I would tell Jeannie to do whatever she wanted to do and not to be afraid. I don't think she is afraid, but I just wanted her to know that she's going to be great at what she does. Going Greek was amazing. Well, I didn't actually think I was ever going to join a sorority. I'm a member of Delta Upsilon. Uh, Tau Sigma Chi. Tau Delta Psi. I'm in Pi Theta Sorority. It's just that they're one of the most closely knit pledge classes of any fraternity or sorority that I've seen. There's a little more sense of family around here. So I always wanted to have that second family, and I was always told that college is the place that you earn that second family. Now I've, I've got a family that I can come back to. Pledging is, again, the funnest time of the year. I don't think I'd be where I am today without all these girls. They're always there for me. The thing that I'll miss the most about Greek life is the common respect for each other, the, may, the understanding that we may not know exactly what we each stand for or what the processes we do, but we understand that it is hard to become each one of us. Well, I've been really involved with Residence Life. I'm president of Draft. President of Psy Chi. I'm the manager of the bookstore. Latinos Unidos Club. The Academic Society Tri Beta. And I'm a student ambassador and I'm also in Torch. Actually that was one of the reasons I came to Carthage because I had the opportunity to be involved in so many different things. I chose to participate in these activities because I felt it would better me. I only have four years in America. I'm not going to go back and not have a story. With track and field here at Carthage, I am a thrower. Volleyball here for the past four years. Soccer. That was probably the biggest reason I came to Carthage was for basketball and the opportunity to play with my dad. And one of the main reasons I came to school, I wanted um, a great education, but also wanted to continue being a student athlete. I think I really enjoyed uh, being driven by something outside of the classroom. For the past four years, I couldn't have asked for anything better. It was the greatest thing I could have asked for. So a distinctive aspect of the neuron is the action potential, the generation of the electrical impulse that travels down the length of the axon. Question? Is this going to be on the test? Yes, it will be. So now what we need to figure out... Come on, we out... should get going soon. What's college like? Well, that's why I'm showing you a little Sibs weekend. Come on. No, I mean, like, the college and the classes and the professors. Huh. The professors. Well, they can get a little wacky. <laughs> well, that's close. My professor, Laura Haracha, I guess she probably reminds me of 
a mad scientist. Professor Zorn, he's just a ball of energy. He's like that little yipping dog that just runs around and always hyper and always having fun. I was in um, Dr. Aishem's class. We've been joking with Herschel like, hey, we're always out so late, when are, you, when are you gonna bring us dinner? So we bought our entire class caramel apples and then we took a walk down to the beach and just like hung out and talked and had class. He had cooked us salmon and asparagus, like it was ridiculous. This is not a lie. Professor Miller's class, he's a wacky guy as it is. He always comes in, has the joke of the week, and has different hats on. Professor McElhaney. He came to us as a pirate um, probably three out of the four days a week that I had him. In class one day, I had a little snippy remark that I kind of said under my breath. And he held me back after class and he looked me in the eye and he said, if you ever have something witty to say, don't hold back. <laughs> I think several professors have had a huge impact on my life. Mark Miller. Gary Williams. Dr. Dan Schaffness. Dr. Ripley. Edward Montanero. Dennis Monk. Sandy Basiglia. Dr. Cameron. Dr. Martino. Dr. Mark Mahoney. The professors have made my experience at Carthage what it's been because there's not one professor that, that absolutely made or, you know, broke my experience. Hey, we gotta get going, otherwise you're gonna miss the president's speech. You have a president? Yeah. He's actually pretty laid back. Come on, let's get going. Hey, it's cool and all that I get your room after you leave, but will I get to see you that often? Yeah, of course. You can't get rid of me that easy, now can ya? Here, I want you to have this. Maybe you'll have better luck with it than I did. Thanks. Nice! To my fellow seniors. Good luck in your future. Do what you want to be doing with your life. Make the most out of your opportunities. Don't ever give up. Take chances. Come back for, for reunions because I think it'll be so exciting to see where everyone goes in the next 10, 20, 30 years. Take everything you've learned in college, not about your major or minor, but about yourself and be real proud of it. It's harder as an adult to take that first big step to take classes, but you're going to be happy you did that and the sacrifices you have to make personally and family are going to be well worth it in the end. If I could summarize my experience at Carthage College into one word, change. Passion. Educational. Exuberating. Unforgettable. Amazing. Community. Exciting. Wonderful. Love. I would like to thank all my professors and all my friends for just making me who I am. Kathy Steinberg. Dr. Gardner, Dr. Blaine, and Dr. Trofness, just because they've been so much help. Dr. Marion Rothstein. I'd like to thank my family for this experience because if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be here. I guess the people I'd like to thank is everyone sitting in this audience. Every single one of you guys, whether you've interacted with me, spoke to me, or never even met me, you've made me who I am today. I don't think our journeys are ever over. This part of the journey is closing. Your life changes every day and so does your journey. My journey has just started. This is the beginning for me and I look forward to it. I think it's just begun. That's why they call it commencement. In French, commencer is to begin. I will be so excited and so proud to have done this for my mom and dad. And I will probably cry and I will have such joy and happiness that no one is going to be able to understand how much I, how I feel when I graduate. It's going to break my heart more to leave this school than I ever thought it would. Um, but it's something you have to do. You have to you have to press on. You have to keep moving. And 
there will be another love out there somewhere. You just got to find it. Mister, mister, where are you? I think I get it now. I'm ready to start my own journey. Great, kid. Come on. <laughs>